Well, this is the month in the year when we usually do our really special Chris Dingle service. Um, it's, it's, it's one of my favourite meetings in the year and for me it always marks the beginning of Christmas. Um, do you remember, it's, it's that Chris Dingle service, the history of it came from about 250 years ago. It originated out in Germany, um, which wasn't even Germany then, it was so long ago, uh, at a church where the Holy Spirit had been poured out and had set the people's hearts on fire. And those people, they were called the Moravians, went out across the world, including to this country, preaching the gospel of Jesus. And about 15 years after that outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the pastor in the church in the December of that year was concerned that the children and the young people that they too would know this fire in their hearts. He was concerned that the adults themselves would have this fire rekindled. And so he brought some children to the front of the church and he gave them oranges and he put a candle in each one. And he prayed this prayer, Lord, kindle a flame in the hearts of the children. Light a new fire in our hearts, Lord. That was his prayer. And this word Christingle means Christ fire or Christ light. It's a very beautiful word. But this year, because of all that's gone on, we can't celebrate that service this year where we all stand with our oranges and with the little sweets on and we light the candles and we turn down the lights and we sing and pray to God. We can't do that this year. And I, I, I was thinking about this and thinking, oh, it's very sad that we can't. And then I felt the Holy Spirit saying, this is an opportunity to look at what that really means, to look at what you're really praying on that day. So I thought about this. And so what I did was I did what they do in, in what they used to do in Blue Peter. I made one earlier. Here's one I made earlier. Let me hold it up. There we go. I made, whoa, let's hold it on this side. I made a Christingle. Do you see it there? <laughs> Sorry, it's the, it's the wrong way around on my camera. Do you see with its orange um, and the red ribbon and the sweets and then the candle at the top? I made my own Christingle. Let's have a think about what this what this means. So that orange that I'm holding up, not very straight. There we go. Um, it's a picture of the world, isn't it? I think you know that. It's the same kind of shape as our world. It's a, it's a globe, yeah? And the Bible says that God so loved this world. Do you know who said those words? It was actually Jesus who said those words. He said, God so loved the world. Amazing. That's the world. And then look at these bits, these sticks with the little sweets. This is the bit the kids love best, probably the bit I love best. And normally we have little um, raisin, chocolate raisins on there as well. So what do those sticks mean? Those, those, those sticks are a picture. It's a picture of the blessings that God pours out on the earth that he richly blesses all of us. Um, and the sun rose, didn't it, this morning, giving us all light. And God gave us that sun. Just listen to this. Just listen to what God has given us. He gave us the sun. This is for all mankind. This isn't just for the Christians or for one special group. This is for all mankind. He gave us the sun and the moon and the stars. He gave us the seasons and the plants and the trees the flowers with their fragrances, the perfumes, the colours, the textures, that whole periodic table which is filled with his wonders, the, the building blocks, the resources. He gave us wood and marble and stones. He gave us animals. He gave us birds. He gave us sounds and creativity and music and food and tastes and spices. He gives warmth and cold and night and day and seasons. He gives us the spring and the summer and the autumn and the winter. He gives us family and friends. He gives us our extraordinary human bodies. He gives us our seeing eyes. He gives us our hearing ears. He gives us these beating hearts. He gives us these clever hands that can do so many amazing things. He gives us our minds. He gives us our speaking tongues. He gives us a singing voice. Those are just some of the things that he gives to the whole world. His riches that he has poured out are so great that everyone across the world should rise up and thank him for his amazing blessings. And that's what these fruits here, this is what these little sweeties represent. They represent the wonders that God has given to the earth. But then there's a third thing. We've done the orange, we've done these, and now there's a third thing. There's this red strip that we put round the orange. I think you know, many of you, what that is. It's a picture 
of the blood of Jesus. It's the picture of the precious blood that Jesus shed. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Oh God, would you show us more of what that really means? Would you help us to understand about this? And then this light on the top. This is a picture, isn't it, of this only son that he gave. It's a picture of this Christ light, this Christ fire. It's a picture of Jesus, the light of the world. And the Bible says he's the only light for the world. That our hearts are in darkness until that light comes. This is the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible calls it. And that's what that pastor 250 years ago or so was praying, God, would you light this fire in a new way in our hearts? That's what he was praying. Could could we know more of Jesus Christ? Could we know more of this light? Could it shine more brightly? Could there be less darkness and more light in our hearts? So we did suggest that people perhaps brought a candle with them. They don't, you don't have to have made a Christingle, although you easily could make a Christingle in your home this year if you wanted. It's very simple, an orange, piece of red sticky tape, the little cocktail sticks with the sweets, a little bit of silver paper on there, that's just to protect everything, and one of these candles. You could make one, uh, but maybe this morning you've just got an ordinary candle. Um, that would be fantastic. If you don't have an ordinary candle, don't worry, because you can share my candle, because I'm going to light it in a moment. Um, and we're, we're going to light those candles. So you, you get your matches and light your candle, and I'm going to try and light this. Never tried to light a candle during a recording, so I'm hoping this is going to be safe. I've got some nice long matches though, special long ones, extra long Cook's matches. Here we go. There's my, whoa, there's my little match. And here's my, here's my Chris Dingle. I'm going to light the flame. Make sure I blow it out. Whoa, get rid of the smoke. Lots of smoke. <laughs> let's put this over here to keep it safe and let's pray and don't let's just think oh yeah this is a bit where she prays but actually maybe in your heart pray God I'm serious about this I want more of this Christ light this Christ fire to burn in my heart at this time uh, I want to know more of Jesus Christ let's close our eyes Lord Jesus we thank you that you are this light of the world. Father, we admit we don't know enough about this, uh, but we so pray that this light, this Christ fire, this, this fire that those Moravians were praying would burn more in our hearts. Lord, I'm praying would, would this light burn more in my heart? Could I know more of this, this gospel of Jesus Christ, Lord? Father, we so come to you and so pray this today. Lord, would you fill our hearts as well with thanksgiving for the wonders and the amazing blessings that you've poured out in our lives. Just so pray and ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Well, there we go. Whoa. Happy Christingle.